up everyone welcome to the vlog I will be doing a little bit of swimming and running as well but mostly riding so uh, I'm with Gibu Echoy he is where the camera is mounted actually in Ruto one of my favorite spots we're going to Hermit's Cove so let's go and um, it's also a good chance for us to uh, test this kit from Salt Plus Salt Plus Pin. This isn't where you would uh, use it because uh, it's a tri suit. But um, we're taking it away from its comfort zone. Uh, we're making it do the distance and you know test its limits if you find one. But so far so good. We were riding in the flat earlier. It was exceptionally good. Nothing is flapping in the wind and um, so basically it's very aero and now we're climbing it, it doesn't feel like it's too warm just enough in fact it's very breathable as well so uh, so we'll do more tests and um, hope you stick around for the vlog today though is quite gloomy so uh, weather's good you can't really test this kit in the heat but last Friday I was I was gonna do some brick workout at CDM but it's closed because of a uh, parokya ni Edgar concert. So we went to Busai, Cebu's most famous uphill route. And uh, so I went full gas up the climb and surprisingly the kit felt great even though I was producing so much body heat and I was climbing on a tiki bike. So yeah, so far so good. I'm impressed with this kit. We'll do some uh, swimming and running testing on this one as well. So, um, as you can see, if you are familiar with the place, uh, we're climbing up to um, Kantabobon. But enjoy climbing. So, yeah, uh, this is the climb en route to Hermit's Cove. But unfortunately, uh, I left my swimming goggles. So, we're skipping Hermit's Cove today bit of a bummer because I was really looking forward to swimming at the beach but um, our plan for a run after this bike ride is a go and then uh, we'll just go to uh, Guanzon for our open water swim later in the day Alright, so uh, first 3k is we did 90% of our race effort and then the last 3k is best effort so that's what you'd expect or that's what you do if we're on a 3k race um, finally I was able to get my revenge on Echoy uh, dropped him with like around a kilometer to go and then I maintained like a 150 meter gap for sure he's the better runner among the two of us but I think it's just the accumulation of the day, the long ride, we rode about 140k today with lots of hills and uh, lots of tempo efforts, so it, it has gotten to him because he's not uh, very used to long distances, but so far so good. Needless to say, the kit is not holding me back, super impressed. Now we're off for our last session of the day, we're gonna go to Guanzon and swim. Thank you.
Okay. All right, so that's it for today. Managed to squeeze in a swim at uh, the last part of the day. So that's it for the jersey as well. So as you can see, it's getting dark, but uh, I'm still wearing the jersey. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. I'm still comfortable in it. I have done a long ride, a run, and a swim on it. So I'm actually still with salt water. So overall, I love the product. Uh, finally, I'm able to find a tri suit with sleeves that I like and uh, i will tell you more in the debrief but as of now i can say that i'm officially saltified i'm sold with this product hopefully they'll be able to customize uh, a race kit for my team because i really really love it and um, that's it for today peace all right so if you have been following my socials or have seen me race i'm actually a fan of wearing uh, speedos or swim briefs and then just a crop top uh, at top and then um, I'm still a fan of that but the main reason I, I want to change to sleeve kits is speed and when you're racing speed is very very important it's basically the most essential thing and um, but if you're switching to a to a sleeve kit there are three factors that uh, you have to uh, factor in or at least uh, there are three factors that I, I think that you should factor in first is Comfort at the end of the day. It should be comfortable that you want to That you'd want to wear the kit so breathability comes in so that you won't get too hot uh, When you're racing especially if it involves hills like these um, Second thing is uh, Is the fit uh, this will also account for your comfort and also it will also account for speed because uh, if you look at my kit it's skin tight everything is uh, uh, there's nothing that's flapping around the wind so I'm moving through air as, as efficiently as I can and the third one is also about comfort it's the material so uh, what materials are used in the kit is very important uh, for breathability and for comfort and also for speed for example this kit has like patterns on the sleeves so if you want a fast kit it should have some sort of texture uh, on the sleeves or any part of your body that's cylindrical I'll explain that later if the fabric is right if it's comfortable if it fits well it should be a fast kit and in factor in the chamoy padding as well so uh, all in all I'm really loving this kit because uh, it ticks all the boxes and it just needs to be raised. Alright, so uh, I mentioned earlier that you would want texture on your sleeves in your race kit. Um, I don't know if this comes across the camera but the Salt Plus Fin jersey has some sort of um, like a honeycomb texture in its sleeves. Um, not sure if the camera can see it but you can also see guys like christian blumenfeld have those like stripes on their sleeves and and also grand tour riders and professional cyclists wear some sort of base layer inside which has like strips and that strips will protrude through their jerseys um, in order for their jerseys to have texture because because the uci and in pro tour racing it is not legal to put some air strips on your sleeves. So let me explain that with these two two balls. Um, disclaimer though, I am not an aerodynamicist or I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, I'm just sharing you, with you what I know. So basically and unfortunately, um, the next worst thing you can present to the air the next worst thing from a flat object is a round object so basically there are two kinds of drag first one is friction drag so it's self-explanatory is that happens when your body or your bike rub against the air and the second one is pressure drag and the pressure drag is basically the void behind your say for example this ball when the air hits this it will separate and this area right here is a void and it will create a vacuum so it will kind of pull it back so that creates more drag so basically what you're trying to do with the airstrips is basically choosing the lesser 
evil in between two drags. So what you would want to achieve is um, eliminate the pressure drag and just um, live with the friction drag because that's the lesser drag of the two. And with bike frames, that's why you see aero foils on your bike frame or like a teardrop shape because bike manufacturers actually create a shape. Because since you can alter the shape of a frame, uh, bike manufacturers create a teardrop shape because that's way more aerodynamic. Unfortunately, we can't alter our arms, which is round, our shins, which is round. So we would put strips in there or what they call turbulators so that um, it will be more aerodynamic and uh, a perfect example of that is a golf ball uh, but this is a bigger version of that and to explain that since it has these dimples it will increase its um, friction drag meaning when the air hits this part it the air will stick more so there's lesser of a void here so there's lesser vacuum that will effectively decrease the pressure drag significantly so you are more aero if you have these turbulators that's why you, you need that's why you would want um, texture on your sleeves that's why aero socks is a thing now it actually saves watts because those strips will increase um, the friction drag and therefore um, eliminate or lessen the pressure drag making you faster i hope that isn't too complicated but that's what i know so i did some further tests with this kit it is really hard to find the downside to it it is that good and the only small thing that i can say though is that since it's made of thin materials and highly breathable materials it might not last as long and get stretched out over time that is just a theory though i've worn mine quite a handful of time and um, there's still no signs of wear there at 7500 this product is a steal um, I have tested a premium kit uh, from Win Republic, which is from Australia, and this one honestly feels better. And uh, that product is also twice as expensive. Um, maybe another downside is that the pockets doesn't feel deep enough, but that is pretty much it. Uh, that's the only downside I can say. Um, the cut, the comfort, everything about about it is feels right. Um, although the minimum requirement is 10 orders for a customized print, I'm really hoping my racing kit for next year will come from Salt Plus Fin. It is that good. And so that is it for this vlog. Um, if you find this helpful and if you find this informative, please do give a thumbs up, give a like, and um, leave a comment down below on what you think. And also, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Let me just grab the opportunity to thank my sponsors, um, Capiz Shell Furnitures, Greystone Farm, Barbecue 88, um, Doc Ryan de Gracia, Design Bites Printing Solutions, uh, to my vlog supporters, um, Caddy's Road Bikers, thank you so much for supporting the vlog. And um, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Peace.